Hello everyone, Mrs. West here with this week's lesson. This week we're going to take a look at what you learned last week about Georgia O'Keeffe to make your own drawing. While you were planning your drawing, I want you to keep this quote from Georgia O'Keeffe in mind. She says, I decided that if I could paint that flower in a huge scale, you could not ignore its beauty. She was talking about taking a tiny object, like a flower, and making it huge so that you have to notice it. Which brings us back to the principle of emphasis, the word we discussed last week. Emphasis is the part of the design that catches the viewer's attention. I would say in this picture, your view goes right to the center where this beautiful center of this flower is. This is where the seeds are going to develop. And then your eye can go all around the rest of the picture. But she has definitely emphasized the flower in this painting by making it huge. Now, last week I asked you to make a viewfinder and I asked you to find some small objects that you think you might want to draw. Okay, so I have these three objects right here that I was looking at when I did my drawing. Okay, now, when you decide which one of these you want to draw, I want you to keep a few things in mind. How easy is it going to be for you to draw? That's something you have to think about. If I had decided to pick this eraser, it would be a little difficult to draw all these letters on here. That might take more time than I want to use. Okay. Well, one of the things that I chose to draw to show you as a sample was this clip. Okay, this is a binder clip, and I had taken a picture of that binder clip through my viewfinder, and I decided which part of the binder clip I wanted to draw. I didn't want to draw the whole thing. I cut off these edges, and I sketched it on my paper very, very large, and then colored it in. Okay, I'm going to show you the process that took me here, and uh, you can follow along. Okay, so I had my three objects, and I made my viewfinders out of black paper because I find it's easier to see my objects against the black paper. And so I took a picture of this tomato with my phone, and I took a picture of this die with my phone. Now you notice this was a much tinier object than this one. So I had a small viewfinder and I had a larger viewfinder for this one and this one, okay? So what I did was I took a picture of the object. I held my viewfinder up this part can be a little tricky. You might need some help from someone. Okay, this is not the same tomato. I already ate that tomato in the picture. So I would take my phone and this is kind of tricky to do by yourself. I took my viewfinder. I held it. Whoops, let's get this out of the way. Okay took my viewfinder, put it somewhere over this tomato, maybe like that, <laughs> and I snapped a picture. Okay, so here's my picture of my tomato. And when I make my drawing, I'm going to draw a huge tomato on my white piece of paper. Okay, now, 
for today, I'm going to sketch one of my objects. I am going to sketch my die. That's what one, one piece of dice is called a die. Okay, so here's my picture. And I can look at the, at the die as I'm working on it. Put it up there. There's my picture. That's the angle I want to look at this from. I don't need these anymore because I already took my picture. Now, here's my piece of paper. Now, I know this edge is going to be the top edge of the paper. This edge is here. That edge down here. So this die is going to be huge. So, I know a die has straight lines. So I might even want to use a ruler, which is fine. Okay, so it's got this size here. I see that it's coming kind of close to the edge there. I'm going to draw another line here. A little further in. And another line here. And another line there. Now I want to keep in mind that this is a square. So I'm going to try to make it look like a square. Like all the sides are even. That's pretty good. Now I have to draw the sides. And again, I would probably use my ruler for this. So let's do that. Okay, that one down there. This one over here. And then I have these lines down here. And that line's going to go off the page. And this line's going to go off the page, too. So let's draw those. Okay. Now, I hope this is dark enough for you to see. So, what I'm going to do is take a marker. I'm going to make it darker so that you can see it. I want you to keep yours in pencil. Oops. Because I want you to be able to erase. Okay. Okay. So, now I'm going to draw the dots, okay, and I'm going to try to draw four good dots. And if you are using your pencil, you can erase the parts you don't want and color them in. Okay, I have two dots here. But if you notice, these dots don't look like circles. They look like ovals because we're seeing them from the side. So an oval here and an oval there and one oval here. Okay. This is as far as I want you to go today. I want you to do a pencil drawing. Don't do it in marker because I don't want it to be permanent a pencil drawing of your object. Okay, I don't want you to fill it in in color. So, again, you are going to take your object. You're gonna hold your viewfinder there. You're going to take a picture of that object. You might need some help with this part. Then you have something to look at when you draw your larger drawing. Okay, now I don't want to see any teeny weeny little rectangle drawings like this. You're supposed to take your object and make it huge on the paper. Even if it goes off the page, that's what I wanted to do. I want it to be huge so that you can't get away from it. That the emphasis is on that objects that you've chosen. And I just want you to do the outlines today in pencil. Do not color in, please. 
Okay, so for this project, you will need a piece of white paper, a pencil, your object, your viewfinder, and a camera. Okay, so time to get busy. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And with these pencil drawings, we can always make adjustments and corrections if we need to. I don't want you to invest the time to color them today. Please don't color them today. Okay, so I can't wait to see what you come up with. And ta-ta for now.